Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So as many of you know, in our group, UK Cricket Creators, we offer free virtual events. And quite a few of those events are Dreaming Tree 3D build. So we are doing the Choo Choo Train. I'm very excited for this one. So I need to add it to my cart, pay for it. I can then go into my account. I can go to downloadable products. I can find the right file. I've got it in the bundle file, but you may get it in the bundle or individually and then download. I can see the bundle in my download. So I'm going to open that up and I can see the Choo Choo Train folder. So again, I can open that up. I've got a PDF and a JPEG and I've got an SVG folder. I'm going to open up the SVG folder and you'll see I've got these files here. So these ones are the perforated cut lines. If I open extras, I'll find the solid score lines. So I can choose whether to have solid score lines or perforated cut lines. I prefer perforated cut lines, but it is a personal preference. I can then either select all of these and copy and paste them to my pictures, or I can leave them in my downloads and get them from Design Space that way. So I'm in Design Space. If I go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse, I can select either my downloads or my pictures. I can find the right pieces and I can then start uploading them to design space. I always keep the name that Leo's given them because I always find that names are actually really useful, but I can enter a tag such as Choo Choo Train and then upload. And I then need to do that for every single one of those files. Once I've uploaded them, I can then select all of them to add to my canvas. And for this one, there's actually 13 pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I can add those to my canvas. So the first thing I like to do is separate the colors. So I get them into batches. Now most of these, apart from this one, this one, this one, and this one are set to 12 by 12. These four are set to A4. So if I'm happy with that, all I need to do is attach my perforated cut lines or my solid score lines. But I may want to play with the colors and I may want to reduce them down to A4. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. So this piece here is already set to A4. So those red pieces are dotted all around the train as elements. So like here and here, behind the pearls on the wheel. So you are gonna see them and they are across the entire train. These are also set to A4. So these are the green pattern panels. And that's these pieces here along the trim of your train and your carriages. These are also set to A4. So these are striped pattern panels, which are these panels here with the stripe patterns on. This is also set to A4. And this forms the structure piece here at the front of your train. So you are gonna see little peaks of color of it. We've then got these evergreen elements, which are currently set to 12 by 12, and they create these dark green pieces. So here on the wheels at the front of your train. So again, it is going right the way through your train. It also forms the top of your train pieces as well. And again, you can see some of that color, that green just peeking through. So we want to split this into A4. So we're going to duplicate it. With the duplicate, we're going to select just the base cut, go to our contour. And I'm just going to contour away this lower section.
I've got some score lines down here that I need to remove. So I'm going to select my perforated cut lines or my solid score lines. Go to contour. I'm going to zoom out and I'm just going to remove that bottom section of score lines. On this one, I can then remove those top pieces. So I can come to my base layer and again I can select it in my layers panel and I know it's selected because it goes a darker grey. I can open up my contour and I can contour these pieces away including all the little stars and circles. And then with my perforated cut lines or my solid score lines, nice and easy, I'm just going to select that layer, go to my contour. This time I'm just going to hide all contours because it will remove everything but that top layer. I can scroll in so that I can see those bottom pieces we removed on the previous one and I can then bring those back and once I've brought those back I can remove that top layer that will always be left. I can then attach these together and attach these together and they're now separated into A4. Same with these, I can attach that and the score lines. Same with this one, attach and this one and this one. I've then got my vellum pieces which are actually set to A4. You just need to turn your vellum around so it's facing portrait not landscape. I don't need to do anything with those so I can move them over here. I've then got this here which is set to 12 by 12 it's a little bit big to A4 and you will see this salmon colour peeking through so it does create part of the structure of our train and you are going to see a good amount of it peeking through underneath. So I'm going to duplicate this one because I want to make it A4. With the duplicate I'm going to select just the base layer go to contour, contour this and this away and those little circles as well. I can then select just my perforated cut lines or my solid score lines, go to contour and I can then contour these away. With this one I can remove this top layer so I'm going to select just the base layer, open up my contour take these away and this time with my perforated cut or solid score lines I'm going to select just those, open up my contour, I'm going to hide all contours and then bring back those ones at the bottom that we removed previously. We can then close that down, we can attach these and attach these and they're now ready to cut and they're set to A4. So this section here is the snowflake pattern panels and it's these red panels here that you can see going all through the train. Again this is set to 12 by 12 so we're going to duplicate it. With the duplicate we're going to open up our contour and we're going to take away that top layer and make sure that we remove all the stars, the circles, the window and door pieces. This is now set to A4 so we can select this one, open up our contour and this time we're going to remove that bottom section and again we're going to make sure that we take out our circles, stars, windows and doors. We've got nothing to attach with these because there's no score lines so we can simply move them over here. We've then got this section here which is our white glitter panels and this makes up all of our snow panel pieces that we can see. So you will get this on an A4 piece, you'll just need to make sure it's landscape not portrait. We've then got our white elements, so this is main 2 and main 1. And this is what forms our base structure, so the actual structure of our train. You are going to see little areas of this peeking through. You're not going to see an awful lot of it, but you are going to see a little bit of it. If you look here, you can just see 
it peeking through on the edges all the way round your train. Again, these are set to 12 by 12. So if we want to make them A4, we're going to start with this one first and duplicate it. We're going to select just the base cut, open up the contour. We're going to contour these pieces out. We can then go to the perforated cut or solid score line layer, open up the contour. And it's easier on this one to hide all contours and then to bring back this top section. With this one, we can remove this top section. So again, we're gonna select just the base layer and we're gonna take away these pieces. Don't forget to take out the inner parts as well. We can select the perforated cut or solid score line layer, open up the contour and then just contour this top section away. We can then attach this one together and attach this one together. We then need to do the same with this one, so we're going to duplicate it. With the duplicate, we're going to select just the base file, open up the contour, and contour out these two bottom pieces. We can then select just the solid score lines or the perforated cut lines, open up the contour, and then remove this bottom section of solid score lines or perforated cut lines. We can then close that down and that's then done that. With this one, we can select just the base file, open up the contour and this time remove that top section. We can close that down and then again, we're gonna select just the perforated cut or solid score line layers, open up the contour. It's easier on this one to hide all contours and then bring back this lower section. I can then attach these together and these together. So that leaves me with my gold elements part. So these are the gold foil parts. This again is set to 12 by 12 and you can see it's all these gold, I mean I'd say they're glitter but the file says foil but I think this picture is gold glitter but it's all of these parts like the windows, the parts of the wheels, all these decorative elements. So I'm actually going to separate this one slightly differently because I might want my wheels and my windows and my other elements to be different colours. So I'm going to duplicate this one first of all. I'm going to straight away get rid of the solid score lines or perforated cut lines because I don't need those for this one. I'm then going to select the base file, open up my contour, and I'm going to take away everything but the wheels. So anything that's a wheel is going to stay. Now you can see that that is a little bit all over the place. So nice and easy, I'm just going to get a shape, something like a circle. I'm going to bring my circle over, I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to manipulate it so that it gets this section here and I'm going to highlight both and slice. I can then get rid of that and that and that's separated those so that I can actually move them closer together. I've then got this bit down here so again I can get a shape, a circle I'm just going to highlight and slice because of course we can only slice two layers at a time. I can then move that, bring this one over, make sure they're A4, which they are, and then attach them together. I can then duplicate this again. Again, I'm going to take away the perforated cut lines or the solid score lines just by deleting them. And this time with the base layer, I'm going to open up my contour and I'm going to take away everything but the windows. So I want to keep the windows on this one. I can then close this down. And again, this is a bit higgledy piggledy so I can get a shape. Let's get a square. I can bring that over 
and unlock it. Highlight and slice. I can then get rid of this and this and I can then of course move these so that they sit better. I want to separate these as well. So again, I'm just going to get a square, place that over, highlight and slice. And then I can set these up so that it cuts in a more economical way. I can then attach those together because they're A4 and I could, if I wanted to, have those in a slightly different shade of gold. So with this last one, I've got my other elements which have all got score lines on. So I'm going to go to my base layer first, open up my contour and take away all my windows and doors. So for this one, I'm going to hide all contours It'll always leave that top one, which we actually want. So we can bring back those elements within it. This one and this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then of course, all those little inside pieces as well. I can then close that down. Now this one is a little bit more tricky because of those score lines, we can't just slice things away. So if I want those to be closer, I'm going to duplicate this so that I've got three copies and I want to make sure that I'm duplicating both the score lines and the base copy. So on this first one, I'm going to open up just the base layer, select my contour and I'm going to contour away this one, this one, this one and those little elements in there. I can then select the score lines, open up the contour and remove those. My design space has decided to have a moment with the score lines, but let's pretend that those are gone. I can then attach those together because these would be gone. With this one, I can select the base layer. I can hide all my contours and just work with this bottom piece. Again, if I select the score lines, I can open up my contour. Again, it's easier to hide all contours on these and then bring back that lower section. I can then attach those together. And then with this final one, I can select the base layer, open up my contour, hide all contours bring this one and this one back and get rid of that top one and then exactly the same with the perforated cut lines or the solid score lines I can select that layer open up my contour hide them all and then just bring back this middle section I can then attach those I'm just going to see if I can get rid of these score lines for a second there we go. We can then bring these in so that we're reducing our cut space. We can then attach all of those together. And again, if we want to make those a slightly different shade of gold. And there we go. We've then got all of our pieces separated into A4 sections to make it easier if we don't have 12 by 12 cardstock. And we can change the colours of some of those as well. So if we don't want our doors and our wheels to be the same colors, we can separate them so that we can make them different shades. We can then go to make it. And of course we've made sure that we've attached all of our score lines or our perforated cut lines to our base cuts. We can then select our material settings, cut everything out and we will of course see you at the event. If you've got any comments or questions, you can either leave them below send us a message via messenger or you can obviously contact us in the group and we'll see you all at this event. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all again soon. Bye.